I'm Gail Price Grossetta, and my husband is Bruce Grossetta. And we started to compile a memoir of our letters when we found 600 letters in a trunk that had been stored for over 50 years. Okay, well, this is not my first letter to Gail. I actually spent the night in Denver the day before I reported to the Air Force Academy and wrote her quite a long letter. But this one, this letter is kind of a little more interesting because this is written just five days after the whirlwind started during my first year. And it reads, July 1st, 1961. Dear Gail, I don't have much time. In fact, I shouldn't even be writing this. I had to get up at 4.30 in order to do it. Gail, this place is rough beyond words. We have been through so much that I couldn't even begin to describe them, much less if I had the time. I thought you would like to know that an inspecting officer, while I was out of the room, took your picture and put it on the top shelf, leaving a note that pictures of girls such as that should be displayed, et cetera, et cetera. Well, meanwhile, Gail, at 18 years of age is entering the University of Arizona and she's fairly young and maybe a tiny bit immature but she wrote in September September 15th as she wrote all along but this one was just kind of enjoyable to read to you dear Bruce so much has happened lately it threw off my writing schedule one more confused week is almost over I feel like I'll never get everything done Today I registered for classes. Oh brother, I filled out 27 IBM cards, so I'll probably not write much. It went well except for a two hour wait to get my English class. And I had to cry to get in the economics class. <laughs> I got all finished and had to go back and change one class. I couldn't get all morning classes, so I have golf two afternoons a week. Tough schedule, golf and econ. Sunday night there was an all university picnic and then another party, a boondocker. That's beer drinking in the desert. But I didn't drink. Though I ha thought I had so much to say, but I guess I don't. I'm really tired and can't think of anything. Goodbye for this week. Love, Gail.